Family members expressed their grief after a single vehicle accident in Western Victoria killed four people. The mother of one of the young victims has launched a fundraiser to pay for the funeral. The mother one of young victims launched a fundraiser to help cover funeral expenses supporting Hamilton community in wake tragedy two teenage girls, two teenage boys and a woman in her thirties were involved in the crash that took place outside Hamilton on Saturday. The only survivor of the crash, a 17-year-old girl, is still fighting for her life at Alfred Hospital in Melbourne. Police believe driver lost control of the vehicle on Wananigreta Falls Road near small town of Bachara before colliding with a tree. Four of the crash victims attended secondary schools in Hamilton, including Bainbridge and Monavie Colleges. Young Joshua Elm's mother, Lee, expressed her sadness on social media. The mother of one of the young victims, 10th grader Joshua Elms, used social media to express his grief and try to raise money for the family's funeral expenses. I'm just a parent who needs to help my son's memory in some way, Lee Elms wrote. I would love to help other grieving parents who have lost their angels or who have badly injured someone. Ms. Elms wrote that the fundraising event was to help funeral expenses for families in mourning and other expenses to be made in the coming weeks and months. I want to say that our angels are in heaven and are no longer suffering and that one day we will see them all again," he said. Joshua Elms was a student at Monavi College in Hamilton. Joshua attended Monavi College, where a floral tribute collection continues to grow. Headmaster Jonathan Rowe released the following statement today Our deepest condolences to Josh's family and everyone who loved him, including his seventh grader brother Aaron. We also offer our condolences to all the friends and families of other members of the Hamilton community who lost their lives. We have our colleagues at Bainbridge College in mind. It turned out that the oldest victim of the accident was Alicia Montebello in her 30s. Alicia Montebello, 30, is commemorated by her sister, Jared. His brother, Jared, said he would be in our hearts forever. Montebello said on her social media account, Rest in peace, my beautiful sister, you have come a long way in a short time, you are very loved. Over 100 kmh Glenn Weir, Deputy Commissioner of the Victoria Police Road Police Command, told ABC Radio Melbourne that early investigations showed that the car involved in Saturday's horrific crash was well over 100 km per hour. There is a speed limit of 100 km per hour on the country road hit by the car. The problem is it's completely incomprehensible to me to do speed on that road at time of day, really any time," said Deputy Commissioner Weir. An investigation has been launched into what exactly caused accident and who among the passengers in car were wearing seat belts. A few of T.